Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and today I'm going to share with you a quick flip through of my last completed Traveller's Notebook insert. And I've also got some other little bits of news to share with you which I'll share at the end of the flip through. So the insert that I've been using is an undated planner from Start Bay Notebooks and it's one of my favourite places to just document a few lines at the end of every day. I always like to keep little notes inside that people have sent me, stickers from events that I've attended and any spare photos that I might have. And I also then just use a highlighter to just mark off the different weeks that are included in this insert. So I started this one back in October 2018. And as you can see, there's just a few lines for every day and then I use the right hand page to just do something more fun and creative, maybe something that's happened at the weekend or if we've been out anywhere or any particular nice meals. And I love using different washi tapes, some brush lettering and some of the photos are mine and some of them are ones that I found on Pinterest that I really like the look of and I felt fitted in well with the theme for that week. This is kind of my autumn theme as we're moving through October and November. Nice to enjoy including collage pieces. And this is when a train ticket from when I took my daughter to have a look around her first university. So it's likely she'll be leaving home in a few months. So it's quite an emotional experience for me to take her around there, but I'm also just so excited for her. And here I've included some stamps that arrived on some posts that I received from the Netherlands. And this is when I wasn't feeling very well. And so I'd put it was a cold remedy, a uh, cold remedy. It's some spiced plum cider. So I just love having all these little pieces in here that I know I would definitely forget otherwise. And this is December from when we'd decorated our tree and we're watching Christmas Vacation on TV at the weekend. And I like to mix up the font styles that I use and it's a lovely place to play with different coloured pens as well. And here's a photo of some Christmas cards I made. So I painted some Christmas wreaths and also some lovely happy mail that I received from Christine at London Gifties. And this I think was off the back of some Christmas packaging. In here I used some washi tape to mask out a rectangle and then added some watercolour so that I could put my quote over the top. And then this was moving into January this year and I went for a much kind of cleaner, fresher feel to really resemble the start of the new year. And I went to London and I ran a journaling workshop for an events management company called Heaps and Stacks. And I was doing that for one of the big online and high street retailers and I was really nervous about it. So behind this little sticker here, which is from Powder World, I reminded myself that my word for the year was courage and I actually had a really, really great time. So again, here just some simple collage pieces and playing around with my lettering. And I like being able to change the different styles. So for this week, I went quite pink and floral and girly. And sometimes I'm more in a kind of dark and vintage and grungy mood. And I just change it however I want to on each week. And this is where I attended the Spring Fling Planner thing, which was my first ever planner event. And I ran a lettering workshop there and it was just 
absolutely great event and I love being able to include in here photos of the tables and you know, it's just a really lovely way to remember things. And these stickers come from My BF Illustration and I love her work, it just adds such a nice style to any page you create. A photo of our favourite local cafe. And here I just printed off a photo from the Fantastic Beasts, The, the Crimes of Grindelwald. I watched that with my daughter and it absolutely fantastic. So I've included a photo in there and some little Tim Holt stickers, which I thought matched in perfectly. And this was Mother's Day here in the UK. So I found a really nice quote about becoming a mother. And again, it's just a really nice place. Often here is kind of where I reflect on the week that's just happened, or sometimes I just keep it really simple and just add a quote. So this is April and I'm nearly at the end then of this insert. So here I've included a photo of our Sunday morning dog walk and included a little quote under this journaling card here. And we walked around some local community gardens at the weekend and they were just beautiful so it's lovely to be able to take some photos and add them in here. On a Sunday I tend to sit and just add the washi tapes and any stickers and decorate a little bit so that it's ready for the week ahead. And then as I start writing in here every evening I just add some more decoration you know, with whatever kind of springs to mind at the time. So this is my last page in this insert and I've really really enjoyed using this style. I find I've always got enough that I want to be able to write every evening but perhaps not always loads of time to write down pages and pages so this kind of little daily section works really well for me. So I'm using the same book again for my next insert and so I've started decorating the cover and that's how I'm looking so far for this week. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing a flip through of my completed journal insert. And I said at the end of the flip through, I'd have some other little bits of news for you. So firstly, I'm really excited to be able to offer you this. You may have realized if you watch my videos that my favorite branded covers are from Start Bay Notebooks. And if you're interested in any of the covers or the notebooks from there, you can now get a 10% discount and the code is linked down below and it's JWP10 and it will get you 10% off any purchase that you choose to make. Uh, other news, on my blog, I've recently released a free brush lettering worksheet so I will link my blog down below and once you subscribe you'll receive an email with the password and that would give you access to this free printables and the others that I've got linked on there. So I've just included some basic brush strokes and different lettering styles so you can work through the lower and uppercase alphabet. And I've also recently released a brush lettering class on Skillshare. So I will link that down below and if you fancy giving it a go if you haven't already. If you follow my link down below you can receive two months access free of charge so you could have just got the chance to check it out and see if it's something that might work for you. I also released an introduction to creative journaling workshop on there too. And the final thing as I'm here, I received this amazing looking box from Christine at London Gifties in the post today and I've just cut through the tape but I've not had a look inside yet so I thought as I'd be filming today I'd share with you the contents at the same time.
Christine always leaves me a lovely little note in there. So I'll get all the bits and pieces out. Christine always includes such lovely little goodies inside her packages. So I always love this. Christine sends me teas that I wouldn't ordinarily find, I don't think. And I've got a bowl next to the kettle and I always think of that as Christine's tea. And I always love having some of those, trying something out, something different. And some little sweets. So I've got these two lovely looking washi tapes. I'll open this one up. So this is the Shamil Garden brand. And this looks so lovely, really delicate florals. Definitely my style. Little package in here with some emergency tickets. I always think a fun addition to your journal pages. These wooden stamps are absolutely fantastic. I love this. So they're World Stamps London. I already can't wait to start giving all of these a go. These fantastic marine stamps. I love this octopus. Oh, and the ship. So I'll definitely get creating with those. And I really like this. So you've got the cute cat, but also the two vases there with the different flowers that so I'll be able to play around with those and put whichever flowers I want inside the vases when I'm stamping with them. <laughs> These are, look really great. Teach, teacher stamp set. I think they're going to apply equally well for work as well. Oh, these look amazing. So these here are different numbers and then they've got these lovely illustrations around them. So a stamp set, Let's see if I can get one out. They look so good. So that's number rubber stamps of the circus. And this one's a fruit, fruit basket stamps. I'll be really busy, unfortunately, over the next couple of days, but I can't wait for a little bit of creative time and I will definitely be showing you how I use all of these. Got a little package here. Lovely chamomile tea. Oh wow, so apparently this is the April set of the watercolours um, that Christine releases in her shop. And I'm just reading the note at the same time and it says here in your hands is the April set. You'll find three new never released before tones. And then there's some prompts as well to get your creative juices flowing in your journal. And I love Christine's watercolours. She's been very generous with them. So in there will be three of the watercolour paints. I shall open those up. So that's a lovely green one called Pine Needles.
This one is Sun Rays. And this one is Sponge Cake. I love the names that Christine gives to all of her watercolours. And so this is the final package that I'm going to unwrap. It looks lovely as always, all of Christine's packaging does. And in there are these amazing wooden block rubber stamps as well. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. I had only planned it to be the flip through, but because there were some other bits going on as well that I found out today and received today, I thought it'd be good fun to include them at the end. So don't forget to check out the links below for the things I've talked about. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, it'd be great if you'd leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, then I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Thank you ever so much for watching. I look forward to speaking to you very soon in the next one.